Tubers, Tibets, crazy people. Hey, have you ever sat at home watching your favorite Filipina female vlogger and you're enjoying her content, you're watching her, you're admiring her beauty, her personality, the humor, the content that she brings, the entertainment that she shows, and you say, man, she is so sweet, she is so nice, she is so attractive. I would love to meet her, but deep down inside, you're aware of the fact that probably there's thousands of other guys that are feeling the exact same way, and probably hundreds of them sending emails, comments, requests, etc. So she's just flooded with guys trying to get her attention, and the odds are really not in your favor. Well. This is a video about a guy that beat those odds. Here comes my video. Okay, so I am here with David and Stephanie. So welcome to the little channel, guys. Thanks for coming by. And David, will you do us a solid and just give us a little background about yourself? And Yes, sir. Uh, my name's David. I'm 43 years old. Uh, I have three children, two daughters, one son. Uh, I'm a uh, small business owner. I was in the military for eight years. Uh, served my country in Iraq. Uh, yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, and a guy your age, mm -hmm. being over here, I'm running into more and more guys. Yes, sir. They're in their 30s, their 40s, their early 50s. What was it that prompted you to start looking at the Philippines as an alternative to, say, America? Well. It, it all began for me about four years ago, Paul, whenever I was, uh, as I said, uh, I'm a small business owner, contractor, general contractor in the U.S., and it, it all started because me working 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, and, you know, you get burnt out on chasing the dollar, paying the bills, and you, you're just so tired all the time, and, you know, uh, I believe in the three-thirds, you know, th a third of your life is spent sleeping, the other third is working, and the other third is supposed to be meant for fun, right? Right. Well, instead, for me, two-thirds of it was working. Right. And, and the rest was, the other third was sleeping. Sleeping. And so, it, I really started out, for me, was just seeing how I could get away from that. Okay. Uh, that That's where the Philippines really got on my radar. Uh, it, it a video came up at uh, some point about uh, retirement in the Philippines uh -huh. at, at a at was low cost uh -huh. and, and then I started seeing videos about uh, Filipinas being okay for uh, with uh, uh, dating somebody that was older uh -huh. and uh, of course I, even in America I always dated females in their early 30s upper 20s right uh, you know Sizzy she's 31 so mm -hmm. My dating range hasn't changed since I've been here, okay. uh, as far as that goes. But it, it was a combination of uh, several things for me. It was, you know, to, uh, to where I could take a break from the work, okay. the monotony, and I'm thinking, okay, if I come here for one to two years or longer, depends, uh -huh. uh, you know, and I meet somebody, we fall in love, then we can decide if we want to go back to America or if we want to stay here. Uh, start a business and you know start a new life here in the Philippines and so, how long ago did you start this journey of looking online it was your your you was one of the very first vloggers that I came across it was maybe, I apologize <laughs> yeah right <laughs> big fan I must admit guys and Paul is the real deal I can tell you from sitting across the table from him he's, he's awesome so uh, no it was probably four five years ago okay yeah all right and then how long was it before you pulled the trigger and came over here okay so I'll keep it a little bit short for you but so my first trip was last year uh, around the first week in November uh -huh. I came here I was going to stay for a couple of months do like a trial run to see if I could live here okay and what happened was three days after I got here uh, my mother, she was watching my pet, uh, my dog, and uh, she called me and said, Son, your dog hasn't ate in two days. Um, there's something bad wrong with him. Well, he's like my son, right? As a dog so, lover, I can totally relate. Yes, sir. So I canceled all of my reservations. 
uh, backing up the I won't mention the airline but they lost my luggage my my check bag got lost and so uh, that's a whole new story there but so finally they found it got it to me and so I went to the airport picked my baggage up and got a ticket immediately back to the US and it was expensive I bet it was I spent about twenty five hundred dollars uh, just for a one-way ticket just to LA then I had to spend another thousand to get to Atlanta. Uh -huh. So it was thirty five hundred bucks because it's such short notice. Uh -huh. I got back to him and he uh, took him to the vet and uh, come to find out he had pneumonia. Got him on some medications. He was like twelve years old, so um, he ended up living about four days once I got back. Uh -huh. And so uh, yeah, so that was that was my first trip. Okay. Was, was last year. I was only able to stay. I was in Cebu mm -hmm. uh, for a few days, and then I went to Bahol for one night. Uh, okay. And it was a solo journey. I didn't. I I wasn't online dating or chatting or nothing like that. It was just me just here to try to explore. It just got cut extremely short. Yeah, well, that was a good plan. <laughs> you know, we advise that guys come out, do a trial run, see if you like it, touch yes, it, smell it, feel it. Sometimes it's for you, sometimes it's not. Yes, sir. And so neither way is right or wrong. Yes, sir. You know, sir. I say, I always come in, guys. They come over, they go, Paul, I hate it here. I go, well, right. I congratulate you for trying. You know, you got out of your comfort zone. Yes, sir. You gave it a shot. It didn't work. Hey, you got memories of nothing else, right? I so agree. now you're back here. This is your second trip back. Yes, sir. And how long have you been here this time? I've been here since my flight was on the 14th. I got here on the 16th. Okay. So couple of weeks couple of weeks yes sir and now there's this lovely lady yes, that's sir. sitting next to you can you tell me how you managed to meet such a vivacious gorgeous beautiful woman yeah how she got so lucky right yeah <laughs> <laughs> did i mention david's humble <laughs> no so uh i came across uh stephanie's channel a couple of years ago uh -huh. um, just just popped up, you know, on the uh, suggestion list, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed her content, you know. And at the time, she was in a re serious relationship with Carlos, her son's father, uh -huh. and so for me, it was just as a fan enjoying her uh, the type of content she was putting out, uh -huh. and um, so you know, we would, uh, you know, I would leave comments and stuff as is more like a friendship thing. Sure. And then, as a little over a year ago, uh, sadly, but Carlos had got in a motorcycle wreck here in the Philippines, uh. and uh, it it uh, actually did quite a bit of damage to him. They they were kind of in a um, what do you call separation period uh -huh. during that period. Uh -huh. But good on her, which tells a, uh, says a lot about Stephanie was is she actually went to Cebu, I believe it was. And because he was he was in bad shape sure she went there as you know if you get hurt here you really need somebody with you yes, you to, do. whether it go get medications or do the paper whatever it is you yeah. know so she did that for she stopped everything she was doing went to to be there with him and uh, about I think it was say four or five days later he ended up passing away they said heart but uh, based on what I think happened, he probably the broke because he had a broke rib. Yeah, the ribs. I think I think it punctured. He got like his, three three broke ribs. Three yeah, broke. so I he think probably, it punctured his he lungs. He drowned. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, that's what I think happened. Yeah. Sad, sadly to say yeah. that, but well, God so, rest his soul. Yes, sir. You know, uh, and and you know, good on Stephanie, for even though they may have been in some sort of state of flux at the time. Yeah. I don't pretend they to know the details. Other. Yeah, but that is a yeah. true Filipina. Yeah, yeah. we'll go. Stand by her man. No, certainly. Good, bad, or indifferent. Yes, sir. Not all, but I would say 98%. Yes, sir. There's always that 2% you got to throw out the window. So so about uh, five or six months ago at this point, that had happened to him, say, it was six or seven months after it happened uh, to him. I reached, you know, reached out to her a as a friend, uh -huh. and it just slowly grew into online dating. Wow. And, uh, so yeah, here we are today. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, right? <laughs> now, Stephanie, let's, let's quiz you a little bit. Uh, I think that there's a ton of guys out there that see female vloggers and they develop a crush on them. Would you agree? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean, it's kind of natural. Yeah, it's, you have look, an attractive it's natural, woman. Of course. She's on. She's on yeah. YouTube. She's doing a channel. Yeah. And yeah. she's attractive. She's good looking. So most guys, di did you um, develop a bit of a crush? Yes, most certainly. Yeah. She's okay. a beautiful, beautiful woman. And uh -huh. um, yeah, she was just the way she handled herself. The uh -huh. fact I knew she, you know, she stood by Carlos even during that separation period. Said a lot about her. I see her being a good mother, and uh, and uh, she's a strong, independent woman. And so, yeah, I definitely developed a crush for her, for her for sure. Yes. Now, Stephanie, yeah. <laughs> I know for a fact. I know you're too humble to admit this, but I'm sure because I'm a little bit in the YouTube business myself, as long with my wife. Is there are men that will send you messages that are amorous, if you will. You know, they're attracted to you and they let their feelings be known. So I'm sure you've had your share of that. But when David came along, what was it about him that got your attention and said, now this guy I like? Well, okay. Uh, when, yes, he, what he, as he said earlier that, um, you know, he reached me through Facebook. Um, I was really like, when I was, you know, I was looking on his I was talking his profile uh -huh. and when I checked I was like oh the, this guy looks good like yeah, okay I, I, was, I, was, I was like <laughs> at the beginning I was like wow I was like yeah, yeah that's my first impression like hey, wow guess what? This, is, this guy is guess what I'm a happily married man but when I first saw him I went wow <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just like you know I'm just I'm humbled I appreciate it <laughs> I was just yeah I'm just you know speechless I was like, all I can say is wow I like this guy you know this yeah. is in my mind I was this is what I want like but I didn't expect that you know we're gonna have this right relationship together because right. our we because you know um, well, our conversation the, was mainly about Carlos yeah about time. Carlos sure. yeah I was concerned yeah. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. her and the kids and what they were dealing with at yeah. the time and I think yeah. that maybe what also attracted her more to me is I wasn't trying to meet her and you know uh, send me naked pictures or you know any yeah, of that it yeah, was just yeah, yeah, yeah. concern for her yeah. genuine concern for her and that developed into something you know where we're at now so. yeah awesome. and then you know it, we we have a uh, conversation like on and off there's a po time that we don't have con like you know we don't chat each other because he's busy i'm busy sure. working 80 hours yeah. a week sure. yeah and then this last august we starting online dating like okay okay i didn't expect that because he just he's tell he said to me that he's just gonna visit philippines just to explore like and i, I said to him Okay, um, I can bring you to some places that I, you know, that I, uh, that I can assure you that you will love this. But mm -hmm. at the end, I, I, I was surprised because he's, it's, it's changing. It's, 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 he keeps changing. Like, I want to meet you. And then I'm asking him, you want to meet in Manila only or you want to uh, visit here in Sika? Wanna, you want to live here in Sika? And he said, no, I want to live there. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? And we that's why we start, like, okay, getting to know each other more and more and more, and then we yeah. video chat. We were uh -huh. going to meet in Manila, yeah. but then her, we found out that her daughter has uh, yeah, yeah, the, ca yeah, yeah. the cancer. Uh -huh. So. And you live in Sikihor. Yeah, I live You're in Sikihor. You're born and raised in Sikihor. Yeah. Pretty I live, much, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Pretty much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a story about that, Paul. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm one of these men, just so you men know, I don't think you understand what the province is, okay? I, I learned real quick what the province is here. And because I was one of these guys that uh, said, I, I want to live in the province. Right. I love the province. It's yeah. quiet. It's yeah. this. It's that. The thing about it is there's mm. nothing there. No. There's no stores. There's no restaurants. No. There's nothing there. No. And so there's 30 no. minutes to a grocery store. So That's right. It, some men can do it, I believe, but yeah, just the, uh, you had a lot of success with that. Yeah. The Unabomber. <laughs> the Unabomber. That worked out for him perfectly. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he. he and now he he knows because he keeps telling me that. Yeah, why you don't answer with this girl? And I thought, you know what? It's not easy to get me to those Filipina here, you know. And and he now he knows that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know now your and situation. Life is hard in the province. Yeah. For you. And what got, what created uh, what 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 got in your mind that you wanted to start a YouTube channel? 
Well, and let's right now let's give a quick plug to that. What is your name of your channel? <laughs> what? What's the name of your YouTube channel? Um, okay. Um, my name, my YouTube channel name, it's called Cizy Kelly, the Hot Mama. Wow. Because I have mama. two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll put a link to your channel yeah, in the description you so, much. so we can hook you guys. Now, this is what I. This is the ten million dollar question. What was it like when you guys first met in person? <laughs> David, you're first. What did you think when you saw Stephanie? Well. You know, uh, so I received my bag and uh, walk out the door. There she is. She comes across, and I give her a hug, and she's so small. You know, right. she's five feet, so small, and uh, so beautiful. she got the long, dark hair. I, uh, yeah, I was impressed. Uh -huh. um, she looks even better in person. Absolutely. So, uh, very okay. happy with what I've seen, for sure. Awesome. Stephanie, what was your first response? <laughs> this is really funny because <laughs> when yeah my first impression is he, I was like wow he's so big <laughs> I didn't expect that because you cannot really do you know um, because in, in, in photo uh -huh. it's it's different yeah. but when you saw it in person like yeah he's so big <laughs> I was you know, like big in what way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. <laughs> I don't want to lose my uh, rating at the Digital Channel. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't know there was going to be a swinging in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be honest, guys, um, my first so impression. So no wonder you've never stopped smiling. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So what's it been like being together? I mean, you know, has as have you guys uh, been discovering everything new about one another? Did it? Are you guys? Do you guys feel like um, the things you discussed and the way you felt about each other online is still true now that you're together? Yeah, um, there's no change. Like you know, I am happy that I met I mean, that he, he came. You know. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I am. I, I I love the way he is, you know, uh -huh. he's very honest, you know, like every time that, you know, like someone like, hey, honey, somebody's looking at me like this, like we are honest, you know, like yeah. if somebody like flirting with him or me, I, you know, like we have this conversation because I don't want to hide something. Sure, sure, sure. So, yeah, we, ha yeah. we, we have these guts and I like his attitude because uh -huh. he's... A joker also like right, me we have right. a good gods together mm -hmm. we're yes. much together <laughs> yes yeah Ho yes. hopefully we can working this up for a long term you know like that's what yeah. i want you know okay. i don't really want to play that's no more too. play for me you know good for you we're not getting younger. well you know you don't strike me from what i'm hearing yeah. so far that you're a player anyway I mean, <laughs> you were with this guy right who's the father of your of your of your child and he got sick and you yeah. stung, uh, stung with him. So yeah. it's not like you've been out in the discos no. every night. You're no, at home no, with no, your no. kids, yeah. living yeah. in the province, right. working, trying to make a living. Now you're a single mom. Yeah. And he comes along and yeah. uh, you waited. Uh, yeah. It wasn't like three days later you started yeah. posting that you're single. Yeah. You know, you, there was a, what, a six, seven month period before of mourning, mm -hmm. yeah. if you will. And you guys talked that through. So yep. my hats off to both of you. I think that's Appreciate awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. It, Paul. Really, really, really. Appreciate I think it. just epitomize. I'm not a fan of online dating. I yeah. never yeah, have. Been. I'm either. not. I, I don't either. like it. I'm not. I, I just think it's, there's it's a lot of scams. I think that the guys lie. I think that the women lie. Yep. Yeah. I think a lot of times it's a money grab. Yeah. I think it's another time it's just a horny grab on the guys <laughs> end of things. Yeah. yeah. And there's just so much, you know, um, just it just nonsense I, I, but there's always the exception to the rule and mm -hmm. i've found that people that do meet online uh i'm not saying that nobody should but it's when uh they start asking for money or mm, they start yeah, all this right. and that i got a feeling you never asked him for any money no. or send me this or do no. that no. am i am i correct to be honest with you paul i was very surprised but uh it was the second or third date we went on. I go to the uh, to the CR, came back and she'd already paid for the meal. Yeah, that's and awesome. That's happened a couple of times. She's paid for the meal, and for me, it's not about the money. It's about 
her putting that investment absolutely in, into yeah. what we have absolutely meant the world to me you know absolutely and i so, can fully relate uh it it was it was a big thing for me so because i don't want him to feel like i'm just after like his money because i can afford like you know um yeah. yeah. She doesn't yeah. need me. No, no. It's just you mm -hmm. know this. So. It, it's I'm, this is how I show my love to him. Like, sure. okay, we have like, you know, if you are in a relationship, you have to give and take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's gonna be you know. I agree. Yeah. And you I know agree. what? I think some men do that really, really ruin the relationship is they don't set their own set of boundaries. Yeah. Or their own set mm -hmm. of uh, of of the lines that cross or don't cross. The exactly. guys will come over here. This is my little speech, and they want to play the big shot. Yeah. And so they, what do they do? They meet the pretty girl, mm -hmm. and the first thing they do, they're buying her a purse and a phone yeah, and this right. and that. And what are they doing? It's not the woman's fault, but the man is yeah. now setting this 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 High standard. precedent yeah, and precedent, the woman yeah. naturally is going to think well this is going to go on forever Just spoiling you know? always, always, always spoiling, spoiling. Yeah. and 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 the girl will be thinking like ah oh, she can't afford to buy me this so i'm going to ask for more why not yeah, yeah. Why if not? i was you i would because yeah. i would think the money's endless and as you say paul do not lead with your wallet no yeah. that's the best advice and i think men when they hear that Oftentimes, let it go in one ear and out the other. Definitely, they're they're not like soaking it up like a sponge. Right. It's it's uh, so few words, but it has such huge huge meaning. Uh, take that advice to heart, guys. Do not lead with your wallet. That's right. the best advice anybody can give you here in the Philippines. Right. Yeah. For sure. Right. Because you never know. Maybe that girl will just get your money. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's. All right. Uh, so, Stephanie, if you had any advice for men watching the channel right now and are interested in meeting a Filipina and they're talking to them online, what advice would you give them? Um, I, I can say that, um, what he means, like, I cannot really... Like, would you, should they wait and meet somebody in person? Should they meet online? Would uh, they, uh, oh. what would you... What should a man do to meet what's a, a red flag that a guy a should look out there you for? Go. What's a red uh, flag? What's, what, okay, um, what's my red flag? Um, for a man. For a man, mm -hmm. uh, on the first, I think they would, because uh, for us Filipina, we would love the guy to come over here uh -huh. to see each other. Uh -huh. And that's how we observe, because us Filipina, we are kind, we are observing the guy if this is really, really, into you or serious with you. Uh -huh. So if we notice that this guy is just um, messing up, like, you know, just playing, uh -huh. and just only the first day, we're going we're gonna to tell right away to that guy that we, we have to stop this. You know? Okay, so well, cool. Be, so it, well, what, it, what happened here was she gave us the red flags of what a, fi a, a Filipina mm -hmm. should be looking for. Mm -hmm. Totally cool. Yeah. Because that's important. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to belay the question to you. Okay. What would be a red flag that a guy would see if he's online with a woman? A red flag for me would be... Um, Obviously, money that that goes without saying. I don't even think you have to mention that. That's mm -hmm. that's a red flag. But for me, a red flag is if I am uh, talking to a Filipina, and she's always slow to respond. Mm. You know, because it, especially if she if she doesn't have work, or if mm. I'm sending her messages outside of what I know is her work hours, and I'm messaging her. I can see a few times, but if it's constant, she's slow to respond. To me, that's a red flag you know, uh, for me. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I would add to that um, her modesty. It depends on what she's wearing when she's talking to you. True. Uh, uh, women that are modest when you meet them and remain modest and the backgrounds yes. are not changing. I also yes. look at or ask them for their Facebook page. And yes. I go on their Facebook. Yeah. If I see her in a bunch of different hotel rooms taking <laughs> selfies, I think, well, Good point. Oh, maybe I should pass on <laughs> this one. <laughs> That's, Good point. I've seen it. You know, and yeah. if she's at fancy restaurants right. all the time, you right. know, and right. resorts right. She's all been the dating time. a lot of 
Right. Man, w that, when, for sure. Right. That Got means it. she's been around a lot of Western yeah. men. That's yeah. correct. Because a typical Filipina is not going to do that. Of course. Correct. You know. Correct. Because it, it costs a thousand pesos to go out to eat at a decent restaurant here. Yeah. And, you know, that's three days pay for them. So. Right. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to wrap it up, but we want to start off, first of all, with David thanking you for your service. Yes, sir. Eight years in the service, a yes, year sir. in Iraq. I know yes, you sir. saw some things you, which you hadn't. Yes, sir. Uh, and we won't get into that, but thank yes, you for that. Um, Stephanie, I want to thank you for thank you so much. being Welcome. such a, mm. uh, a humble, sweet, young Filipina that's so loyal. She's you awesome. represent yeah. the Filipinas very, very well. And I think the Philippines should be proud that you're one of their representatives. Mm. And we really want to endorse your channel. Uh, Sizzy Kelly, the hot mama. Yeah. <laughs> Sizzy Kelly, please follow me, guys. <laughs> I'm sure they will. All right, kids. Thanks for coming on the Little Dog Channel. We appreciate you. And we'll see all the crazy people watching this in the next video. Bye-bye.